three tig ice here we are banff springs hole number six again take one more look at this wedge shot here we got a couple different winds that you can uh check out here you know we have one um you know, we had one where it was straight in the face that put us towards max. Uh, you know, if you have better clubs than me, you might be able to scoot out just a couple extra yards or just try to try to figure out what ex how exactly you want to bring. Um, but what I recommend is definitely trying to get this down here as far as possible. You'll see I'm trying to get this up uh, pretty much to the end. And uh, we are also going to 6.3 here. We'll also have to test our distance. So there's Max. I'll typically zoom out. This looks like maybe it's right again, right around 50, 50, 60. And pulling up here. So that's the slider position that I'm going to use. I'm going to be a little bit more exacting on this because you'll see 54%. It's not 54% ring adjustment. So you'll see it's 2.5 versus six some rings. So you have to make sure that you're kind of following my model because it's a little bit more precise than just saying, oh, 50%, I'm going to go half wind. That's not really the way that it works on this game. So, um, you know, do pay attention to the model. It's going to give you your best bet for holdout on those wedges. And just to give you another quick look here, you can see 54% is way, it's, it's well under actual half of the adjustment. So keep that in mind and don't just wing these and say, oh, I'm going to go half actually use the slider on those wedges, the rough irons, the sand wedges. So that's what the model's there for. So good luck, and I'll see you guys.